Hey, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be installing this AutoVox rear view mirror style dual dash cam backup rear view camera system on a miniature Winnebago or Mini Winnie. And I've been walking you through that system. This was sent to me by the AutoVox company. Thank you, AutoVox. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this, and we'll be doing some testing. So it's a really cool system. Let's break into the box here and see what came in the kit. All right, so here's the real nice looking rear view mirror. It's a 10 inch size, so it's a little bit bigger than your normal rear view mirror, which is good because on this one, it's a little bit different. Most of your rear view mirror style dash cam systems have a portion of the screen that actually is the LCD. It might be just a quarter of it or maybe a third of it, and sometimes right in the middle, it'd be a little rectangular square. What makes this one different is that pretty much the whole rear view mirror is the screen. Um, it's kind of the, the screen is in the same shape as the mirror itself, so it's not totally rectangular. But I would say 90% of the real estate of the the, the rear view mirror itself is is actually um, an LCD screen. So when you look in it, it's going to be looking like you're looking in the rear view mirror. So that was one of the key things that I liked about this is that it is a full screen. It is 10 inch, so you can see things a lot better. Let's go ahead and, and pull it up here out of the box. Get off this. It's sitting down inside this cardboard box. Bend these back here. All right, good. There we go. Um, it's got nice uh, 1080p, 1296p camera on it. And that slides out to give you a little extra room when you when attaching it to your rear view mirror. Okay, it's got these nice rubber feet here. Micro SD card, USB um, port, and an audio visual port. Um, it has this right here, which is a GPS. It comes with a GPS unit right here, um, which um, will allow you to dis use it as a speedometer. Uh, it will show you your current speed display on screen if you want to use it like that. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. It comes with a very long extension cord. All right, this that's actually where this goes right here. This goes right here. This is a USB port. This is the auto visual. This goes to the rear camera. All right. And here we have the rear camera unit here. Let's break it out of the box, the package here. Take a good look at it. This feels a lot better. I've, I've done se several uh, videos on rear view cameras, backup cameras, and dual dash cam systems. This is a much nicer camera than comes with most of them. Most of them have a little square box thing. This one is actually a, a pretty hefty little device. Um, has a stick on or a mount on plates. Okay. And it comes with its mounting straps, a little couple rubber straps here. So uh, it looks like a really good system and I'm pretty excited to get it in. So let's go ahead and go through the process. I'll be putting this on the rear view mirror next. And then we'll go to the part where we run the cable uh, to the rear. So let's go to that. So here we have the original rear view mirror and the one we're going to replace it with and put over it. Um, it's got these little feet or hooks on it. So what we're going to take is these little rubber straps here. And you just hook them into it, the top here on that. Try to get that where you can see it. All right. And just put it up here. Okay, so the camera is hitting this, so we're going to just going to slide the camera out so it goes past, and so it's not actually pushing up against the old mirror too much. Um, kind of center it as much as possible, and you just bring that little strap over and hook it on like that, okay? Okay, now we got to decide where we're going to put our little rear camera. Uh, the camera actually has to go on like this. Um, there's no way to flip it, the, the, the video on the screen, so it has to kind of go what would be considered upside down. You can glue it on um, upside down underneath here, but I don't want to put it underneath here where it might be subject to things coming up and hit it. I'd rather put it up in here uh, where it's protected and things can't damage it and it's not going to have an obstructed view. I really want it to, to view all out around. So what I'm going to do is going to clean off an area right here. Uh, with a with a wipey, I use these uh, to clean my glasses. These Carl's Ice wipes, I buy them by the boxes, keep them on hand. They're good for all kinds of things because uh, they don't damage things and they don't leave any residue. Uh, so makes them real useful. 
So I'm gonna clean this area off right here real good before I stick this on. Just to get all the dirt and grime off of it. That's what makes things not stick very well. Look at that dirt and stuff coming off there. I haven't yet washed this RV this year, so I need to need to wash it. Getting it real clean there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is pull off this sticky tape here. Get this, if I can get a hold of it. And we'll go ahead and stick it right here. Make sure it's horizontal. Okay. All right. Now there's some screws on the sides here. This thing is adjustable. You can tighten these, loosen these screws a little bit. There we go. Now, pointing right back. Go ahead and run our cable behind here and down. Um, and uh, prepare to hook up the reverse light on there. Let me pull the little, now that we've got it mounted, let me pull that off right there. It's mounted tough. All right, it's gonna, so now that's mounted, ready to go. Okay, so this red wire right here, this is the reverse light um, wire, which is intended to be hooked into the reverse lamp so that whenever you put the car in reverse and it sends power to this lamp, it sends a signal to the screen up front to tell it to switch it to the rear camera. Um, in my case, I'm actually installed the system on this Mini Winnie to be used permanently as a rear camera viewer, since the rear view mirror does nothing but see the inside of the <laughs> Mini Winnie. So I'm not really worried about this, plus the reverse lights don't work on this, this Mini Winnie. I haven't fixed them yet. But if you did want to use this, and the only advantage of using this wire would be that it would automatically switch to the rear view camera whenever you put the car into reverse. Um, that can be done manually by touching the screen and selecting the reverse camera, which is two touches of the finger and it's, it takes about two seconds to do that. But if you wanted to happen automatically where you didn't have to switch it from the forward, forward camera to the reverse camera, then you need to hook this wire up and you'd simply run it up here and connect it to to the wire that goes to the reverse light right here it's not that complicated to do i'm not going to show you how to do it because i don't need it and i'm not going to use it and uh, my reverse lights don't work but i'm just telling you that's what this wire is for and that's what you would need to do if you wanted to hook it up okay so now we have the camera mounted and what we need to do is run the cable to the from the back all the way to the mirror and obviously uh I'm gonna have to do that underneath here now what we're gonna do is just simply I've already run the cable but I'm gonna show you how I did it in a series of pictures because it was difficult to uh, to film but I ran it connecting there's wires that run along the housing here uh, along this beam all the way to the front and I'm just connected it all the way and zip tied it as much as possible uh, to that housing um, there uh, you the main thing is when running the cable is you don't want it rubbing up against anything metal so i zip tied it to the cables which you see right there um in all the places and then i had to drill one hole up front which i'll show you uh later i'll show you a couple of pictures here uh just as i ran it just kind of show you how i connected it and ran it all the way through and you can just see that i've zip tied things uh, to the existing ca uh, cable. In some cases, I was able to run it inside the cable, uh, the little uh, plastic housing protection, uh, and that was good. Uh, but in some cases, I just had to zip tie it along to the cable. So uh, now I'll go up and show you how I brought it up into the cab. Okay, so I've run the cable underneath the uh, motorhome here. Um, but getting it up into the cab, that's the real trick. It took me a while to figure out how to get it in here so there's um, this right here this simply snaps in you can uh, just grab hold of the edge of it here and pull up and pull out and take this thing out here it just clips in there 
you're not going to break anything by taking it out. Um, and so there's not a lot of holes in here, but there is one right here. Um, let me zoom in on that. See it? And there's a little slit right here. I'm just going to open that slit up just enough to fit the end of the USB plug through that right there. Might have to put a screwdriver in there, open it up, and that's where I'm going to come through. So let me show you how to do that. The, the USB end was a little bigger than I thought, so I'm going to have to drill this out, try to make it bigger. I got to be careful about these cords here, moving them out of the way. Alright, so we've got that drilled out now, and I'm going to try to bring that cord up through there. Alright. Now, that's pretty sharp there. I'm going to come in and uh, wrap some tape around this where it goes through and protect it and probably silicone that off. But now we've got our cord in from the back and uh, got it all the way run. So now we're going to thread it around. Now we'll go ahead and put back on the, the panel we took off here. Get it in here right. Snap that back in. And we'll run the cord up and around. Right, so what we're gonna do here is just run this underneath the door molding. Just flip that flap back there a little bit and uh, Kind of run it under there. Continuing on, we're just going underneath the door molding here. And I'm going to come all the way up here. Okay, and right here, we're just going to come in behind this panel here. And I'm going to go underneath here around that. This is the hands free microphone. And you can see here that uh, there's, you can't hardly see it. There's foam up in here, but you can run it back up inside on top of this. Just run it back up in here all the way until you get right on top of the rear view mirror and there we have it okay so right here we're going to connect this rear camera to the mini USB port on the left hand side or the driver side when the mirror is in this position okay now, let's go ahead and power the unit up by connecting, connecting the power to it. This will be on the right side or driver side USB. And bring this around this way. For, for right now, I'm not running this cable because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use a separate cable that's ignition controlled. And now it's turning on. All right. Okay, so the camera's facing forward. Let's switch it to the rear. Look at that. Nice, good picture. I love how that's a full screen here, so it's not just a little piece. Looks like you're looking out the back of the RV. Um, that's exactly what I wanted. All right, so we're getting ready for a test drive here. And got the forward camera there, got the rear camera. Let's go ahead and switch it to rear camera. That's what I'm going to be using it. And I love that view right there. It shows me what's behind me at all times. Um, right behind me, I can see the whole width of, you see the shadow there of the motorhome. So I'm seeing the whole width of it, uh, a big wide view. So if I need to back up, I mean, that's the whole screen there, pretty good. You see the red dot going up here, um, showing that it's already recording. 
got a compass here that's uh, on there from the GPS. And it also has a speedometer. We'll we use that when we get on the road. Let's hit it. Let's go ahead and take off here. Make sure nothing's coming. Now I can see behind me. Make sure nothing's coming. Let's get on the road here. That shows the direction I'm heading east. And it is a morning time and I am heading east. So the compass is working correctly. shown you how to install it I've shown you how to use it and what it does it really does well I've showed you the video examples uh, on the road of which one how they look uh, the one thing I haven't shown you is that the uh, the camera I don't know if I can this little camera up here uh, if you can see it it's adjustable you can move it up and down I didn't know that at first so I was filming a little high uh, but you can actually push it down so it's kind of like a ball joint and it kind of swivels a little bit, so I'll just let you know that you can do that. Um, outside of that, um, there's not much else to show you. Uh, it has a pretty cool menu system that uh, basically all the, the menus is on one screen. You don't have to go into a whole bunch of sub-menus. Everything's right there. You just scroll up and, and uh, you know, decide what you want to do there. And pretty much all touch screen, everything, all the choices, basic multiple choice. Um so that's about it i really like the system i love the full screen system it works really good i hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have please like subscribe and comment and remember all of the products you've seen in this video are going to be underneath the video in the description area just click on the show more and you can see the products the tools the tape everything that i used to do this process will be down there if you're interested until next time this is the jungle explorer signing out